Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna do a video on uh, replacing the fan in a Razer uh, Blade laptop. Uh, the model number of this one is RZ09-0270. So one of the fans started to make a pretty bad sound, it's the CPU fan. Uh, I ordered already the fans, I have them here, if you're wondering where to order them from, uh, eBay, Amazon, any online merchant. Uh, just wanna mention that this one um, are an aftermarket part, um, but I've used them in the past. Uh, they have the same RPM uh, as the original ones, and they are actually quite decent. Okay, so we have two fans. The laptop has two fans. Uh, only one of them is making sound. Uh, but I will change both of them because chances are if one of them went bad uh, the other one is not uh, too far off okay so let's dig into it and let me just show you how this is done okay so put the camera at a better angle there we go so we're gonna turn the computer upside down and we're gonna remove well I'm gonna remove the screws from the back for that one you will need a uh, T5 screwdriver okay Okay, so with the screws removed, we're just going to pull back the back plate and that will expose the internals. Okay, uh, just a quick uh, story what's inside. Battery, if you need to replace it, uh, this computer had the battery replaced as well. You have one, two, three screws, four screws right there, you pull this cable you remove the battery you have your ram right there which can be uh, upgraded uh, it uses a ddr4 this currently it's configured to the 16 gigabytes of ram you can go as high as uh, uh, 64 uh, you have uh, you can also increase uh, you have this uh, solid state drive now one word i want to tell you about this very important this type of solid state drive it might look the same uh, there are two types it's an NGFF and NVMe type of SSD drive what's the difference the N NGFF is basically a SATA 3 it uses the same interface right so uh, this SATA 3 type of drive reads at maximum 550 megabytes a second now for those of you who actually want to get more out of the computer more performance you have this type of drive which as you see it looks identical with that one but this particular one it's an NVMe type this one can reach speeds up to 3500 megabytes a second because this is a PCI Express 3 so if you decide to upgrade the hard drive make sure that on the body of the drive it says PCI XE PCI Express okay so um, uh, so that one is basically um, will uh, will ensure that is uh, is an NVMe type of drive. Um, so, well, um, there are many many brands out there you can choose from, but that's just a thought. You can increase the speed of this computer by about seven times just by changing this tiny little drive. Okay, now uh, let's move on. To what we have to do and that is to replace these two fans okay so we're gonna remove the screws from here and let's see if in this computer the fan actually goes under which I do not believe so 
in many many machines it would go under the heat sink so it will make it actually hard to you'll have to disassemble the whole thing okay this one is not so right here we'll lift up the fan just like this and you will have let me see if you guys can see you have the connection right there okay so you're gonna pull on it ever so lightly on it it's gonna pop right out okay so that's fan number one and fan number two in this computer this is the fan which is filled uh, but as i said i prefer to change both of them so same like the headlights in your car or something like that which comes in pairs when one of them goes it's better to change the other one because chances are the other one will break pretty soon okay so you want to avoid uh, opening the computer twice plus whenever you order the fans most of the time they will be shipped in pairs anyways so might as well okay so we're gonna lift, okay, gonna lift this cable out of here out of the way okay And then this cable comes just like that, okay? So that's as easy as it is. Now it's a good time to actually take a brush and clean up any mess you might find inside, okay? And you might also want to blow it if you have a canned air spray or a compressor. I highly doubt that you have a compressor, but you know, if you have one, Put it to good use. So, excuse me a little bit. Okay. Clean that guy up. And now let's get to replace the fans. Way. Now when you put it in, you'll see it has this little kind of plasticky thing that goes under the heat sink right there. Okay, make sure you put that in just like that. And let's put back the two screws. Okay, let's route the cables, actually connect the fan first, and then we'll have to route the cables. This one goes underneath, and this fella goes just like this, we're gonna push it in once it's aligned, and that's it, okay. Uh, we're gonna put this one here, this one here, just like that, perfect, okay, and now let's move to the other one, this one it does not have that tab which has to go under anything, it just goes pretty much just like this, Well, and actually you see this is like 
okay let's remove let's remove this cable so it's easier to to move around it okay okay so we have a little bit more clearance okay I connect this one in there and please guys uh, work with the either with a plastic tweezer or a electrostatic safe one um, when you when you do this you don't want to short anything on the main board or just disconnect the battery it's as easy as pulling it just like that so you want to avoid touching anything I didn't do it because well, I've been doing this I know what to touch or not to touch, but to be on a safe side, I'll say disconnect the battery. Okay, I should have mentioned that in the first place. Okay. Now, if you change just the fan on uh, on the left, basically the right fan, uh, but it's the left as we look at it right now, not this one, the other guy. Uh, you don't really have to disconnect anything because uh, the chances of touching anything. Uh, on the main board are minimal not many components are there and uh, in here I mean there are components but uh, this part right here it's a little bit more tight fitting because of these cables which are on the way so okay let's put the Wi-Fi cable back I'm gonna connect the battery Pretty much the job is done. Oh, come on, you. Okay. That's that. We're gonna connect the battery. Okay. And pretty much that's that. That's as simple uh, it is to replace the fence into a razor blade and basically to change a bunch of components here. By the way, keep that in mind where I told you about the SSD type of the, the SSD drive. You can really make the computer faster uh, by simply purchasing a new drive. We can even put it on slot number two. You see there are there were two slots over there. Uh, and then let's say if you buy a uh, well, I'm not gonna name any brands, but most of the most of the hard drive brands they will come with their own migrate software so you can just uh, put the secondary SSD into the empty slot uh, use the manufacturer cloning software to move your operating system programs and files into the newly purchased SSD and then set up the BIOS so it boot up from the faster SSD at which point uh, you can delete the original one, all the information on it, and use it as storage, okay? So that way you don't have to reinstall the windows, reinstall your, all your applications, uh, passwords, bookmarks, and all the other stuff. They, uh, they will be there, they will be exactly as it was before, just much, much faster. And it's really worth the investment. Uh, one terabyte SSD drive uh, NVMe type it's about hundred and ten dollars or so so it's not a big deal so yeah that that's that the computer is closed we're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna run a test on it to make sure that the fans are working properly uh, I'm sure they will and uh, yeah pretty much that was it guys if uh, if this video helped you in any way uh, help you save some money um, please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, press the like button leave a comment and until next time take good care have a good one